Isaiah 42, 1 through 4 says, This is my servant. I strengthen him. This is my chosen one. I delight in him. I put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not cry out or shout or make his voice heard in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed, and he will not put out a smoldering wick. He will faithfully bring justice. He will not grow weak or be discouraged until he has established justice on the earth. The coasts and the islands will wait for his instruction. One of the things that I think about most often in Christmas is the fulfillment of justice. Is that in the midst of all this waiting, this baby was born, and we can rely on the fact that he will bring justice to the earth. We like to think that we know best when it comes to justice. We like to think that we can execute it faithfully. But we see in our world over and over again, and day after day, that we don't get it quite right, that we have these notions, or that we feel wronged, and that we should do these, these certain things. But Jesus is the one who will ultimately bring justice to the earth. He's the one, the long-awaited, the promised one, who will forever establish justice in the world. And Christmas reminds us that we're in this in-between where he's established a new way of, of doing things and his kingdom is advancing and we can participate in that. And we know how to live if we walk according to the scripture. But there's a day coming when he returns and everything will be made right. And so as we wait and as we celebrate, can we hold on to in the midst of a broken world, in the midst of a hurting world, that there's a long-awaited day of ultimate justice coming. A day when Jesus will establish for good, justice, for all the earth. And he's not going to grow tired in this. As tired as we might get, he doesn't grow tired. And that everyone will be taken care of as he establishes justice. We need to put our trust in him. And we wait. We wait in this season as we head towards Christmas for a savior who is good and who is just and who is holy. And so as we head toward and we count down these final days to, to Christmas day, remember that it's not just presents under the tree. Remember that it's not just parties with families. Remember that it's about justice. It's about hope. It's about eternity. And it's about goodness being established in the world. Merry Christmas.